Yeah, so I was cyber sleuth and cons. I noticed her on Twitter back in 2016. I looked into it within minutes. I saw that she is a tool. She was with the Truman Project. I got her to confirm it. I was quite the cyber sleuth back in the day. She was trying to co-opt the Bernie bot movement. Minky Konst is the proverbial Democrat in name only. Right there, there's the proof. Well, I change. You can change one name at Twitter. This before they banned me. She was in the Truman Project. She had some website. I don't think it even matters. I forget. She's a tool. It's obvious she's a tool, and that's that. Okay, now we're going to go to... Uh, yeah, she was trying to co-opt. That should about wrap it up for old screenshots. So I'm the Scoop King. The scoops are mine. So this is going to be pretty funny. I set up the uh, screenshots. There's going to be counter-protesters that are going to go there that are gusanos. But I'm wondering if those gusanos might be anti-mandate. And that's when the conversation will get interesting. Because subtitles. in my opinion, both are idiots. And because they're equating uh, what's happening with to there. socialism, right? Instead of like fascism. And um, they're mad. right against about the mandate situation, whereas the left is right about Fake the anti-imperialist situation about blaming the right people. But Reading they're off trying of that to computer use that government, share. that government that's in control, to also control their. I've their also noticed Chardula reading off the cell phone. So they're idiots too, and I think if these two idiot groups clutters the table to hide to it, move like the us, bottle. They could actually so this took a little bit of uh, and Asperger work, enemy, which is this administration, the Pentagon, the military, body the military tremors, industrial complex, the national security state apparatus, self-triggered, those people. But because they don't talk that's to each who other. They, they work at each for, other, and they I expose each other. them. Why are you wasting your time protesting other working class people? They're aging people. provocateurs. They're starting to push the envelope. And, and get these, these She's some double out, agent right? now working for both Russia the and the so Five exactly Eyes. What they want you to do. This has been an update from the Tokyo Shemp Anti Cohen Internet Cohen Telpro Network. Coming from God knows where. Nobody even looks at the contract. They send them off to be counted in this tabulation room, fam, that has software where they just shuffle them through a machine. And whatever the machine tells you that you can't even look inside to see what the, what's under the hood, whatever that machine tells you, that's what we have to take as our election process over here, as an accurate count. This is craziness. And it's only worse today than it was two years ago, than it was four years ago. It is completely out of control right now. And grassroots candidates, populist grassroots candidates, will never friggin' win because Unless this system right here, <laughs> this system assures that the ruling yeah. class maintains control and people are selected, not elected. Yeah, unless they're compromised, they won't win. So um, yeah, let's look. They're fair, transparent. I mean, these these elections are a joke. Uh, these are this is I a, this is a friggin' joke I at this cannot. point. My good friend uh, James Bradley, who ran in this election right now, I said, James, you're getting too much noise on you, too much. Too much energy. They're going to make sure that you get uh, suppressed in your vote. Well, here it is. The term is 2023 20, to 22028. This is Alex Padilla, fam, one of fam's oh. favorite uh, politicians out there. Amazing Estimated. Secretary of State, fam. He was he did so well. Yeah. You don't know it's rigged. Um, actually, you don't know it's not. So that what I'm telling you is that we don't have fair elections. There's no way to check mm. if it is or isn't. So therefore, you can't tell me with 100% certainty that she won that yeah. race fair and square. And of course, adding public opinion to that. Come on. Come Stay, on. Uh, saying that uh, elections are fair in the United States is like saying that games at a carnival are not rigged. But Pasta, the United States is just going to go around cooing a, a government Based and, on and, and their elections. pushing regime change and, and changing their elections, but not ours. No, ours is off limits, right? They're not going to do to us what they do to them. No, that just, it's absolutely impossible. I'm going to make that illogical distinction in my brain and be a complete and total dumbass. And 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 just create this fantasy world where domestic policy is separate from foreign policy. Cheza Boudin is now out. 
over soft oh, on climbs. He, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, the and recall worked on him. And yeah, and you know what? And, like, there is a, a two-way, two ways of looking at that. Chase Boudin was, of course, the uh, son of the, uh, mm -hmm. the I forget. I know what you're name. talking about. But he he was definitely the, the leftist candidate. Now, the problem is that, of course, this is what always happens, right? Both Democrats and Republicans allow poverty to come in. They don't do shit. And then what happens? They end up, the Republicans come in and they say, we need to do away with crime. Why? Because it just so happened that, of course, during his term, you had uh, break-ins to houses, to cars, crime rising. So what do they do? They Oh, they say, see, when you have these low uh, punishment type of, of leaders, what happens is the criminals take over. So what does that happen? What does that do? It takes our government further right. And it, it it gives us higher, harder, harsher punishments. It increases incarceration because now they're going to come back and crack down on it with a more conservative approach. And then that repeats over and over again. And so we're moving further and further into a fascist authoritarian state. And that is by design. I wonder how Angelica did on the race, fam. I did not see her numbers. Um, I'm so sorry. I mean, it was like they're making it harder to go find these numbers right now. So. I mean, like, yeah. that's the other thing. You can just choose to, like, talk about he, comedy or talk about, you know, like, uh, they just he's in over his head. Right? That so was Cedar on he's MSNBC. In over his head. He doesn't realize it. He's Joe making too Rogan. much money for them, for them to tell him. And, and, and show will that's start the bottom line. I mean, today he tweeted seconds. out, you know, uh, sort of gloriously up the this AP story about ivermectin in a, a, a study from Japan. I put in well, the 20 minutes later, the AP corrected its headline, and, live streaming and you right never there, heard from him again about so it. And so, you know, and this is a problem, and he, he doesn't want to take responsibility for it. Time. His Spotify doesn't want to take responsibility for it, but someone's to blame. I mean... Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's like, yeah, like, I, nailed it. Okay, see, I gotta agree with the guy with the beard. <laughs> you can see the I think at the root of this, and, and you guys uh, touched on it, it's not just that he doesn't want responsibility. Just as people didn't want to wear masks, zoom in on her the same face. people who didn't want to wear masks, who think that the government She's is, reading a is forcing them to take this, uh, to, to take the vaccine, who don't, who think they're being censored Degren, for speaking out, Degren at the root of this her. is privilege. And not being willing, you not can watch willing, Vigla white privilege, read very explicit She's here. like a jardula. White male privilege in this mouths. situation. She doesn't mouth any words, but they don't want to be told what to do. And it's I an feel that she helps You know, me. everybody else has to be part of the community. Everybody else your needs eyes to, right there. She's a, a, a try to follow the laws. But the same people don't want to pay taxes. The same people who, who including Joe Rogan, because they moved to Boston because they don't want to pay taxes. You know, there I is an entitlement, the ratio an that unwillingness good. to be told what to I mean, do. Right there, that teleprompter, the, the white one is. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's the lines. case. But I mean, I don't care what he does when he's sitting around, uh, you know, talking to his friends. It's like Jimmy but Jean's the bottom no line is, is that he didn't say anything about taking off he, a couple of weeks. He can. There's no censoring here. It's just a question Donkey of like, if you're going to um, be making uh, all of that money, and if the company's going to be making all of that money off the you, with his dad, you got to be held Lee to Stranahan account for putting out this type Derby. of garbage. And and Hayes was right. Like he doesn't Diglin. have to. He doesn't have to. Uh, of course, um, you know wade into um uh covid if he doesn't want to yeah well if he wants to see deflect, the teleprompter it's deflect the same one too it's like a military himself, if he wants it to roll so off his back like water on a duck then talk about dmt again and talk about mma that's what i said yesterday on the show like he does not have to be a peddling peddling COVID misinformation Rogan. I attacked but them all. What has like, caused some of this explosive indie. growth growth in his show? There's no media yeah. anywhere. So, let's be real here. She's this is not somebody who's the, just uh, passively receiving guests from his producers. This is somebody making an active choice because not just because this interests him, but because this makes him money. Yeah. And there is an Dr. audience that feels like I am accessing this special information. 
I don't want to go along with what the dominant narratives about COVID are. It's kind of boring to me. It doesn't feed into my narcissism. And that's what Rogan does. He makes you feel, young white male who's probably watching this, you're a special little snowflake. You have this secret knowledge about COVID, and you have a way that you're going to be able to beat it that the rest of society doesn't. Don't be You don't have to read the newspaper to get that. Listen to me, actually. I'm not a sheeple. Listen to me, actually. Right, right. This is Rogan. I'm not a news guy, but listen to me. So you feel like you're a special person in this world. You're all scripted. And, They're like, all. Honestly, this is I, there's the a sadness to it because there's so much insecurity and atomization out there. Story. But that's honestly what makes it grosser Rogan has with no him. Talent. So, and, and, showed like, up, and the, the other part is like, started getting listen, big roles you don't have to do the work I've got in the doctors. We've done the research for you. You don't have to open up a book. You don't, Why is there head bob and no one bobs their head like that? Just listen to my podcast. We brought on a doctor to prove my theory. She swam. She was even swaying right there. Yeah. The, uh, no Mickey Cons. So this is what really um, that frustrates me because the subtext of this Joe Rogan stuff and all the people that uh, rush his defense is that the woke libs are coming and they won't let us uh, get the information out. The Meanwhile, this is in the context of an actual countrywide policy assault toward Sex ideological theater, cult conformity in the name of fighting wokeness and the anti-CRT thing. They contribute to that. All those people that's contribute to that. Sam and they're Cedar's the same it. thing as that's Joe really, Rogan. That's that. I mean, that's it's really Rogan the, had the point. The idea more charisma. Rogan had better timing. The idea that you cannot hold uh, Joe Rogan to standards because of, you know, uh, other outlets don't properly hold dick. their people to standards. It's just it's just BS. Well, they'll come to you, right? You were on MSNBC. I would Guilty. love like, saying this, and I'm sure that's like going to be used to impugn she has whatever you have to say well, there, as if uh, the crossover uh, Spotify to this contract. video and It's probably part. similar, like... What, what you were paid to go uh, on Chris Hayes' show last night, right? Yeah, live that. <laughs> but there were some zeros. She had lived uh, that. I mean, she has a trick. I figured it out. Uh, so her up, body is that, angled but, um, yeah, towards there was some, uh, Cedar. Zeros involved in that. Her, her, while her the, eyes but, but the tilt is, I mean, toward I think that's the a very white small, uh, 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 you know, group of people. The bottom line is Jamal is Thomas likes to grimace. He, he does a lot of incredibly irresponsible angle and uh, work the, like this that. Guy is, See, I mean, it's just I, outright I reading right them, there. It really is more that caught my yeah. eye. It really is more of a story. You crop up the rise, you get like, a closer I mean, look. Thing is that it could have even done him. Uh, uh, cropped up more like out. the foreheads and the so noses. Doesn't do any research. Yeah. That worked out he really well. Point in it. How do you know what guests like? You're About three minutes to go. This will be the last what? run the, through for that. Flex that I'll probably no place agency. more of it for a third like, part. Of but that these like bros do. They like I'll this send is not some true, kind though. of I mean, Bob Marley or something. It's a, this is this is a specific. I think. So no Mickey Cost. I feel that. This is the I white tablet teleprompter is reflecting off her glasses. He perceives himself. He is more uh, Cedar, aligned it's with fairly obvious sort of like the, a, a certain group of comedians. His vaglum is staring at it a little bit. Feel like there is some type but of. If you miss that, that vaglum because just squints. simply by being a comedian, never mind. Like, right there, she's not she's doing a comedy show. There was no, you know, she's her, not uh, any more. It's than, hard to uh, see. You know, he may be funnier than. I watched than this me, on a very tiny screen. We're not doing a comedy show. He's not doing. I a wish I could show. go full He's screen for my live screen there. Where maybe there's times where his attitude is funny, or he says the funny thing, or he swears in a funny way. But this is not comedy when you're interviewing a, uh, an that epidemiologist. An even so if you make something bad. You do not get some license can because you're see a what's comedian going to scam go on. out I think and, just and provide over there, this information there. and like have no responsibility there. for it because well, it's under so the rubric of So how do we all get on the artist. same page? I'm sorry. It, I know it takes a lot of editing he work. He wants it both ways, and it's, he doesn't even believe it. What I don't get is, okay, so I'm curious to see how many people have actually dropped off of his okay, this show is since be he's been going harder on this. Because he did take an active decision on this early, before ahead, I even reading. believe in, I mean, it's hard to kind of, but I remember, I listened to that stupid Elon Musk interview because everyone said you have to listen to it. People on the left are like, you have to listen to it. that human typewriter like thing. And that was, I think, the first time I heard him question the validity of COVID-19 with Elon Musk. 
now, for how to hide audience because of Elon Musk and he that they're scripted. But he made a conscious decision at that point. How can they the script out complete dialogues that go on he for an hour, two that. hours at when a time? Probably only, I'm just spitballing here, like 15 Infomercial maybe vibe. Pretty big, but like maybe it was 7%. So She's how reading. much of his Come audience has been lost since he's made this move? Which might, not, he doesn't need to build the audience. She did the, the glide over. Stuff. I'm actually. The, that's pure typewriter movement. Other people need Could to she right there? She's doing the it. She skipped uh, like to a new paragraph of, of, of ideas. And the other, you know, dumb, dumb left. I don't think Joe Rogan needs to do what that. about the no Mickey cons like outed years ago? Because it's, it's still, it's, it's a sick thing for people. But oh, she was looking down, but it wasn't paying attention. His, I, I, I understand his audience. There's only bigger, 20 more seconds to go. Because of this very but we'll keep the film rolling. I like this a, setup. I think he's gay. Look for Vigeland doing I, some type I don't of shady think that side. Because of a particular right issue. there. I think it's about that was him. Pure. All right, that's where the film cuts out, and I, and that's it. Thank you. I'll keep the thing. I'll rotate the thing and keep it going. And then that means all I gotta do is come up with a quick tune. I'm doing Kaya by Bob Marley. I listened to it once. I listened to it a lot before, a long time ago. It's clearly one of the better the early days. Five, four, three, two, one. Just saying apologies in advance. I screwed up. Doesn't look so, so easy. Okay. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. After dual mimic me doing that, he went five. He did that. I barely ever listen to what they're saying, and the few times I do, I always end up hearing them mimic me. They're like a psychological. All right, enough about that. Here we go, Bob Marley. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Wake up and turn on for the rain is Got to have Kaya now. Got to have Kaya now. Kaya, Kaya. Got to have Kaya now. Kaya, Kaya. For the rain is falling. I feel so high, I even touch the sky, above the falling rain. I feel so good in my neighborhood, so here I come again, I've got to have Kaya now. Got to have Kaya now. I've got to have Kaya now. For the rain is falling. I feel so high, I even touch the sky, above the falling rain, yeah, I feel so good in my neighborhood, so here I come again, I've got to have fire now. 
I've got to have Kaya now. I've got to have Kaya now. For the rain is falling. Get up and turn I loose. Wake up and turn I loose. Wake up and turn I loose. For the rain is falling. Whoa, Kaya Man. Kaya Man. Got to have Kaya now. For the rain is rain is falling.